with another episode of Frontier. Now, if I recall, I believe we had all of the field work done. Looks like it. We were trying to figure out the productions last time. And I did some research and I couldn't find anything on where to get the sand or any of that. I'm assuming it's, I guess, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but I did not do any digging at the mine or anything. I've just gone in, in the, uh, in the test one and just bought everything, all the productions that is, and I did not find one that produces sand. So I'm not sure what to do about that unless we just like buy sand and then take it to uh, wherever needs it. One of those types of things. But I think what we're going to do is we are, let's double check everything. Okay, first growth stage. We have not advanced at all. Not yet. But it looks like corn won't be ready until October. Uh, precision farming. pH is good. Nitrogen is good. Okay, so let's see. Let's actually check. Let's check these grass fields. Ready, 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 ready. Okay. So we could buy. Let's see how much this would be up here. 75 plus 69. So we do. That'd be like 145 ish thousand. To buy both of those. Uh, how much money do we have? 35. Why don't we. Let's see what we have for contracts. Bailing. All bailing contracts. I mean, we, we could do this. Field 27. Let's see, because everything will be at the shop. So 3, 8, or 9 is what we would like to do. We might do three. I think we will do field three. Oops. Yeah, I, I screwed that up. So I guess we won't do field three. We'll do field... Field nine. Because we have to borrow. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into this. That's the wrong direction. We'll just, what we'll do is we'll mow everything, we'll row everything, and then we'll come get the baler and then bale everything. So. We are going to make our way down to field number nine, and we'll be back once we're there. Alright, we are just pulling up to the field here. This grass here, this is field 8. The next one is field 9. Go ahead and unfold everything. And just to double check and make sure. Okay, yeah, everything is correct. Let's start that one up. And that one. Never, I've never really done a bailing contract in this game yet, so this will be interesting. But I know if it were me, I would have used the big, uh, the 
big M swag grower, big M something, the, the big self-propelled mower. Just because it, it'd get done a little bit quicker. But, this still isn't that bad. This shouldn't take that long at all. The longest part of it's going to be moving the bales because it look like we'll only be able to move four at a time. But Anyhow, we're going to get this cut and uh, we'll be back once it's cut. Finishing up the mowing. We're just there's a couple little tiny pieces that we have to uh, we got to make sure we get. Just because I don't want the game to say I didn't cut it all. But it's about it's pretty much each corner of the field. There's a, just a little bit, just a teeny tiny amount. Not hard to grab at all. But once we get this done, we'll go get the wind rower. Now this is the piece that really needs to uh, to get cut. So once this is all cut, It'll be just the corner down there and this little strip that we missed on that final pass and then uh, we will be done cutting. So we're going to go grab that wind drawer and we'll get this all buttoned up, finished. And then we'll probably advance quite a ways until... Um, until maybe we need to spray again for weeds or something or we'll see and if we do that we're actually just gonna quote unquote hire that done in other words we're gonna just rent the machine for just a, an hour or whatever it might take and then um, we'll get that knocked out but doing that I'm trying to decide if I want to use a self-propelled or if I just want to use um, a pull behind I have not quite decided on that but we're gonna get this taken back up to the store we will grab that wind drawer and uh, we'll be back we are just pulling back up to the field here now I'm hoping this wind drawer will work or not the wind drawer obviously the wind drawer will work but I'm hoping the baler will accept this grass but before we forget I'm just gonna show what we have for sprayers so 
So this one goes on the gator. We don't want that. What I was thinking was one of these. Like this power spray. Because with this we can do sea and spray. So we don't use so much herbicide. And there's the hardy version that does the same thing. A few of them actually. And then we can go self-propelled with uh, John Deere or the case. And they both also do the sea and spray, but that's a lot of money. The load. This one also has a load command system, which means it'll shut off boom sections. So this is also another really good option. Um, but I think this is more when we get more established type of thing go for this because we could also use that for spraying as well sell the fertilizer spreader and spray with that but I think we're probably just gonna go with one of these pull behinds with uh, attract with row crops but I'll leave that up for debate we'll see what you get what uh, the comments say and what comments think about what we should do and yeah with that being said though these episodes I record a week in advance this one will be out Monday so maybe with this one I'll, I'll record this one today which is Friday release this one Monday and then uh I'll wait for comments on Monday's video to see what chat thinks about the sprayer. And then um, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, we, we will advance at least until March, April, May, June maybe. In today's episode, we'll check it, all the fields and everything, make sure everything's growing fine, and then uh, we'll see if there's anything else we need to get done. But for now, we're going to get this uh, field wind road, and we will be back. <laughs> Just finishing up this last pass here. Just adjusting the wind door as needed. But I had a thought during that uh, that little wind draw and time lapse session there. What would everybody think about like a vintage American farming series? Like with old international tractors, old John Deere tractors, old planters, old combines, just kind of like 
we take it back to like the 70s or 80s. I'd like to know what everybody's thoughts were on that. Go ahead and leave your thoughts on that down in the comments because I would thoroughly enjoy that. Now, I'm not a big fan of the time lapse and stuff, but if we did that, there would be probably more time lapsing depending on the map. Now, if there's any map suggestions for that series, you can leave that with the comment of with your comment if you would like to see it or not. Um but I think that would be fun. I think it would be a lot of fun. But we're going to go get this baler and um, get that field start baling. Now, there should only be two, one or two more time lapses. We'll see. Because I think I'm going to bail and wrap. Those will be in time lapses. Moving the bales, not sure yet. That might be in the same time lapse, or we might cut. So, but anyway, we're gonna get this baler over to that field, and we'll be back. All right, we're pulling back up to the field here to uh, get this baling done. Now, I'm hoping I didn't screw something up because I have uh, Maze Plus and Real Mowing on, so I'm hoping these will still wrap normally. But we'll see. But I can't change the bale size. Well, I mean, I could, but I don't know how, what size bales that wrapper takes. But one thing we are going to do, we're going to do our little screenshot thing again. That should be good. the right button for our um, for our uh, steam screenshot I can't remember what I rebound that to but anyhow we're gonna get bailing here and uh, we'll get all this bailing done and we will get the wrapping done and once all that is done we will be back <laughs>
mass bail. We have sped the time up just so we can get back to daylight. But one thing we are going to do, actually, is we are going to rent. Let's see, where is it? We are going to rent one of these stackers right here. 130 horsepower. Just because that will make this process a whole lot quicker. But we are going to go ahead and take the tractor with the baler back up there to the shop. And we'll grab that wrapper and uh, we'll come, or not wrapper, the, uh, the stacker. We will come get all these bales picked up and taken to where they need to go. So we'll be back once we're back to the field with the stacker. All right, we're just pulling up to the field here and uh, you might see a massive difference in the time and that is because there's one thing that I did not notice. The store on this map opens at 7 a.m. Can't go in there any sooner or else the gate is shut. So that's why there is a two hour time difference from when we went to the store versus now. So, but we're gonna get all these picked up and then take them all down to that uh, that farm shop thingy majigger where that big exclamation point is and uh, yeah enjoy the well probably about the fourth or fifth time lapse here contract is technically finished but we have a whole another load of bales to sell so that's all profit for us so we're gonna go ahead and get those sold accept the contract and see where we're at sitting in the bank so we're gonna get back to that field and uh, sell these last few bales all right we're back at the field we're gonna go ahead and pick up these last few bales but I think this might be we might call it an episode after we get these bales sold and then come next episode we'll get the uh, we'll get the spraying done because there are weeds in all of our fields so we have to spray all of them and then once we get all of them sprayed well, what we'll do today is we'll uh, we'll go ahead and advance to June today, and then in the month of June we'll get everything sprayed, and then uh, once everything's sprayed, we'll go ahead and fast forward again, or rest I shall say, and we will see what our growth states are like at that point, and if they are. If the crops are grown enough, then we will go ahead and uh, get started on harvest. So don't be surprised if within the next couple episodes we are harvesting crops. But 
We're going to get these back over to that cell point, and uh, we'll be back with the final number figure. All right, we are just pulling up to the cell point here. Now, you can make, go ahead and make your guesses down in the comments on how much we are going to make. I do not know what prices are. And I'm not sure how many of those last bales sold before uh, once the contract was finished. But I'm going to guess... Hmm. I'm going to guess six thousand dollars that's my guess wow we could have doubled my guess but anyhow this is a good spot to finish so thanks for watching today's episode this is episode four this should be out monday and this series is releasing monday wednesday friday so, this is recorded Friday. There should be an episode dropping today. And this one will come out Monday. And don't forget to uh, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see kind of a vintage slash classic American style farm. You can give me map suggestions, but I kind of have a feeling I know what map I want to do it on. And that would be... Um, Probably Monith, Iowa, the row crop ready one. The one that we talked about doing just on stream. But we might actually turn that into a series, which would be releasing Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that's kind of my thoughts on that right now. You guys go ahead and let me know what you think. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. Follow me on socials. And uh, that'll do it for today. We'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.